Frost, Mission, and welcome to the second bonus episode of my Castlevania Aria of Sorrow Let's Play. Back on the tile screen here, we have access to Special, which gives us the options of Sound Mode and Boss Rush. Sound Mode, you can basically just listen to the game's soundtrack and some of the sound effects here. Uh, Heart of Fire, that's Julius' theme, and then you can just listen to some sound effects. Nothing too interesting. What we're after here is Boss Rush. You can select what file you want to use here, I'll just be going with my Let's Play file. And then the Boss Rush begins. As in most games, the boss rush in Castlevania of Sorrow, you're basically going to be fighting off against every boss in the game, and let me go ahead and put a headhunter on, back to back to back. Depending on your time, you'll be rewarded with certain weapons. If you're slow, you'll just get rewarded with a potion, or if you already have all the items. Obviously, the faster your time, the better item you'll be rewarded with, and thanks to the Chaos Ring, getting all the items isn't too difficult, because you can basically just spam magic on all the bosses. Now, there is a boss here, which is this thing, Man Eater, which wasn't actually a boss in the main game. Maneater is a boss in a lot of Castlevania games, however he wasn't a boss in this game, but he's included in the boss rush. No one really understands why he's here, not even the wiki has a logical answer for it, so that's just a random little thing they included for some reason. If you choose to wait around long enough after defeating a boss, they will drop the regeneration orb to heal up your mount or your life and magic if you don't have a chaos ring. But if you're going for a good time, chances are waiting around for that is not the best option. So usually it's just better to speedrun through this and try and take damage, or given some very minor healing items, I think a tasty meat, a meat strip, a rotten meat, rotten milk, mind up, and a high mind up to help you through this, but overall those items aren't going to help you out that much, so it's usually best just to try and avoid damage and use a lower une if you're hurting on life. Uh, what was he doing? Okay, that was the laser attack. Death is probably the most difficult boss in this entire thing due to his having two phases and having in the second phase be very difficult to predict what he's going to do. He can drain for your life very, very quickly. Thankfully, thanks to Lightning Doll and Chaos Ring, I can drain for his life quickly as well. And yes, they were sadistic enough to include Legion in the boss rush, which means we have to tear through this thing again. Ugh. Thankfully though, since I'm not going for its soul this time around, I don't have to worry about tearing off all the shell, so I can just spam souls like Red Minotaur and Lightning Devil without any concern. Which makes this boss fight go ridiculously quick. There we go. That was pleasing. Unfortunately, the next boss won't be anything but pleasing. Hello there, Blore. You are also a very big pain in the boss rush. A lot of his fist attacks, I really just have no idea how to dodge. And then, if, yeah, if he manages to punch you with a fist, it will send you flying across the room, which isn't good. Okay, second fist is starting here, but I want to quickly heal up with a meat strip or something. I don't want to use the, um, tasty meat just yet. I also believe your time is paused when you're in the soul, or the soul menu, and I didn't put on Medusa head, goddammit. Which is good, so you can waste some time here if you're struggling. Okay, now I just have to... Did I just try and... That is very interesting. <laughs> I was sort of just frozen in the air while doing a high jump, that was cool. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the, um, orb in this thing, cause, okay, can I just put on Black Panther, please? Like, there we go. Dude, how much health he took away from me, I'm gonna wait for his orb. There we go. And now for the final boss in the boss rush, which is Graham. They don't include any after-game bosses like Julius or Chaos here. They're basically just assuming we got the bad ending and leave things off with Graham here, which is good. Saves us quite a lot of time, because having to go for Chaos and Julius would add lots of time onto this. Unfortunately, they do make us fight all three stages of Graham, which, yeah, that's not fun. I'm gonna go ahead and put on Lightning Doll. And you're sending those out faster than you usually do. That's not fair. Okay, second phase starts. I'm just gonna spam this. I'm not even gonna bother ducking down. I have, Laura, I have unlimited uses of Lorune and a tasty meat. I don't really feel any need to hold back here. Okay, I believe Red Minotaur is actually very useful in this part of the boss fight, so let's put that on. Yeah, that's doing quite a lot. I'm even hitting the halo from down here, which is even better. Alright, you're gonna heal up with tasty meat now. Probably shouldn't be getting hit by the laser, that's probably not the smartest thing I've ever done. But there we go. Graham is down, and for our troubles, we get the Valmway. I believe that's actually the best item you could have gotten from this thing. And if I'm correct, the Valmway is very infamous with the Castlevania series. Um, I want to say this is 
Okay, you get the game over screen after completing boss rush, so there's nothing wrong with that. I want to go check this out really quickly. We also have access to New Game Plus, but I'll talk more about it in a second. Okay, where is Valmway? Creates a bladed vortex that slices enemies to pieces. Is this what I think it is? Holy crap, this is the Valmway from... Oh, God. Um... Yeah, this is by far the most broken weapon in the game. Claim Soleil may never see any more use on this file ever again. <laughs> Holy shit. So the found way, if you're not familiar with the Castlevania series, is ridiculously infamous for... You're, you're able to move while using this. That's the first thing. Second, this is a piercing weapon that constantly hits enemies as long as it's in contact with them. So you can move while using it. It constantly slices enemies as long as it's touching them. And it pierces through shields and that kind of thing. Can we just take a second here to appreciate the brokenness? Hold on, let me find a better enemy to use this thing on. Just look at this. Look at the chaos here. Like, no pun intended since we're in the chaotic realm, but look at this. This is beautiful. I wasn't actually aware this item was in this game. This is just fabulous. Okay. I'm gonna go back and... Let's try and get some of the other items from Boss Rush rather than just fanboying over the Valmway, shall we? That seems like a smart thing to do. So, back in a second. Went for a slightly slower time here and was rewarded with the Positron Rifle. I'm pretty sure that's actually a faster time, so apparently, even if you are very fast, it will just give you the items you didn't have before that. So, with our new toy, let's go play with this. And see what this thing can do. I believe this is actually one of the guns in the game, which there aren't too many guns in this game. It's mostly just, um, melee type attacks. And I believe I actually did pick up a gun called the handgun while I was doing my soul grinding. So I'll show that off as well, because it's kind of interesting. Very long range attacks, I guess. So if you don't want to use a soul and use up magic to use an attack, then you can use this, I suppose. But... As you can see, you can see where the bullets are connecting on the wall over there. The distance on this thing isn't great. So let's check out that Positron Rifle now. Positron Rifle. Fires positive electrons. And that is... <laughs> broken. I can kind of tell they weren't even trying with these after-game items. They are just like, what's the most ridiculous thing we can let Zomi use as a weapon? And that'll be the item you get. Okay. Let's attempt boss rush yet again. I had one last attempt at the boss rush, and I got this. Excalibur. And I'm pretty sure that's even faster than my previous time. I'm getting better at this. Yay for progress and game overs. Okay. I believe the Excalibur is the final weapon you can get from doing the boss rush. So let's test this thing out. And well, as we all know, Excalibur is the sword, or is the sword that was pulled out of stone. And apparently... This one hasn't quite been pulled out yet. Yeah, at least you tried. At least you tried. And again, with your ridiculous weapons, it's like, Hey guys, it will be a great idea for a weapon on a Castlevania game. Excalibur. Except Excalibur that wasn't pulled out of the stone. It's like they just took out the piece of ground that was around the sword in the stone, and then they just used that as a weapon. I've got to say though, Soma, pretty impressive you can swing that massive fucking boulder around on the end, on the end of that sword. Now, if only we beat the boss rush in two minutes or less, maybe we'll finally get the sword or the sword without the stone. Anyway, this was boss rush. I'm actually going to be doing one more bonus episode of this series, where I'll be showing off the special character you can use if you put in your name as something different on the title screen. So I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.